Ch- oh, that's that the yeah chocolate thing, right? Yeah, the chocolate hazelnut thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't like Nutella, but I don't like chocolate. Oh no, I love chocolate. It's yeah, delicious. Yes. Oh, All mama. right, go ahead. Do your thing, Mama. Go ahead. Let me know whenever you're ready. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Figuring Out Epilepsy, where we talk about all things epilepsy plus more. Today, I have the one and only Cat from the Sandwich Crew. He also has his own podcast. Hold on. I had to think about the name. <laughs> I'm not as thick as you drunk I am, right? Yep, there you go. <laughs> right? I had to think about because it it's like my brain yep. wants to switch up the words. But I'm like, it's no, it's the opposite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have to. Oh, well, every I have time to think I say that, somebody, they, they, they always, yeah, whenever somebody hears the title, they were like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah, you heard that right. Yeah, I get it. Like, I, I get it because when you know, when you drug, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be saying the words correctly. So I get it. But my brain mm-hmm. doesn't want mm-hmm. to, to. My brain wants to switch the think and drunk and say it properly. Right, yeah, you, you want to put it phonetically correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nope, not around here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we can't be doing that all. <laughs> Yes. Well, I already talk. I, the way I talk is a little unorthodox, anyways. Plus, I have a, a small accent, so I'm like, well, why, why will my title be correct, anyways? If y'all don't hear what I say, what I say, anyway. I mean, that is true. You have a certain way, the way you talk and stuff. So, mm-hmm. I expect nothing less. It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just... A, I'm a little uh, <laughs> rough around the edges. But that's all right. We love you for it. Is that gonna be okay? I'm not gonna offend nobody on your show, right? I don't wanna. I don't want you to lose nobody. No, it's okay. The, the statements I mean, made on this podcast are the views and the views of Cat alone. <laughs> disclaimer: <laughs> Don't be offended. Yep, yep. I mean, just gonna move him forward. He's he like on, He's just being honest, honestly. Like that's 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 the reason why well, I like I, you I, so I, much because you're just so brutally honest that I know whatever you say is the truth. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to sugarcoat anything. And I appreciate people like that. I mean, it's, it's, I, I like to move that way, like just in general, like in life, in totality, yeah. you know, like um, I, I tell you all the time, like, you know, I, I don't like to be coddled. I don't like to be, don't rub my back and give me a pat saying, good job, man. And I don't, I don't like that. I, 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 that yeah. makes me uncomfortable. You know, I like brutal honesty. If you didn't fucking like it, don't fucking say you liked it when you didn't. Yeah. Or, you know, like I cuss a lot, you know, and it's just like, I, I I just like the bluntness. I like to be blunt with everything and I like to be handled the same way. So a lot of times when I talk to people, I tell them like, you know, I, I speak very rough and very rugged, but I, there's no malice behind what I'm saying. I never yeah. say nothing to purposely or maliciously hurt somebody or yeah. antagonize nobody, you know? Yep. Yep. That's, that's cat. You know, he's rough around the edges, but he has a big old heart. And like, I was on his podcast before. If you haven't heard that one, go check it out. But he treats me like a regular person. He don't out here be looking at my epilepsy and treating me like I'm about to break at any second or like if I'm in a bubble. And I appreciate that. And I think everyone in the epilepsy community would appreciate that, that you just treat us like regular people. I, well, I, I mean, I guess like even like even with the statement you just said, uh, to me, I find offense because you was like, you treat me like I'm regular. Like you are you not? Are you fucking subhuman or some shit? Like what you mean? I, <laughs> I, I got superpowers super because of my epilepsy. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you you saying like, you know, yeah, because cause you said it before. Where you're like, oh, you treat me like I'm normal. I'm Are you fucking not? Like I'm, I'm get confused with that shit. It's because people don't. People don't treat you like that. I've experienced that. That's, and that's what I'm saying, but that, that's yeah. the part that gets me. I, I don't understand it. You're, you're fucking human. What fucking yeah. difference does it make? Like I don't, I don't, I don't get that part. You know. And okay, you have epi- epi- you got, got epilepsy. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. And <laughs> like, well, am I not supposed to talk to you? Like, what, what you want me to do? Yeah. Like, we could still go have fucking breakfast, coffee, and talk shit. Like, what's the problem here? <laughs> 
See, this is why that, I appreciate the, you yeah, so I, I, much. I don't, this, this I don't whole get that reason. mentality. I don't. I, I don't understand <laughs> that shit. I don't, I don't get how people move differently. I, you know I, how you say all the time, like people look at you or treat you different. I don't. I don't mm-hmm. get that part. Yeah. No, I. I think I also think that I. I probably should. You know stop saying things like that because it it puts that out there also that oh i'm not normal i'm not like everyone else when this entire time yeah, i'm don't, trying don't, to tell don't everyone else like, i'm just like you, you. yeah so i need yeah, to yeah the fuck you all you <laughs> like you to... like certain shit you don't like other shit yeah i need to word things differently when i it's just it's always, it's always start been. start embracing who you are. Like, yeah. ooh, ooh, embrace embrace my markings. Start embracing your markings. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> sideway plug. <laughs> <laughs> See, but yeah, but no, but shit like that. Like, and and it's like even the way that I move with, with, with like the shit that I do with my own personal life. Yeah. Not everybody gonna like it. Not everybody yeah. enjoys it. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. I do it for me. Yeah. You know, so don't don't acknowledge other people's bullshit and their their insecurities about you. Fuck them. Do shit. Do what the fuck Sam wants to do. That's like, you know, when you and I have talked before and you were like, well, do you think I should? Why the fuck shouldn't you? Like, yeah. I don't understand what the fuck. Like, as long as you're not going to hurt you, you, like, and I told you before, you know yourself better than anybody else, right? Mm, yes. You know your own body better than anybody else. Yes. So as long as you feel confident doing something, fucking do it. Yes. Yeah. See? You see? This is this is why this is why I like talking to you. You put, you put me in my place. You remind <laughs> me of like Sam. Come on, you're treating yourself like you ain't. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, Wait, do you mean to tell me I silenced all my phones and you didn't silence yours? My alarm went off. I I normally don't have an alarm at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started, I'm like silent, silent. Vibrate, vibrate. <laughs> like my phone stays on vibrate. I just keep it that way unless I'm like expecting a call, but I just keep it on vibrate. But it was my alarm. And I normally don't have an wow. alarm at this time just because I don't, I don't, I don't know. Why well, you keep it on vibrate? I don't Who you know. trying to have from? You, got, you, got, you got all them side pieces you be trying to keep in, in line. Oh, all my side pieces. Yeah, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, the last dude that I was talking to. I ain't mad at you. Uh, uh, the last dude I was talking to, he ghosted me because I said I wouldn't be his girlfriend. <laughs> you said you wouldn't be his girlfriend. I wouldn't be his girlfriend. I haven't even gone on a first date with him. He's already trying to make me his girlfriend. So I was like, no. <laughs> what? No, no, yeah, no. You don't, you know, you don't want that kind of guy in your life. No. That's, no, 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 no. And then no, he ghosted then he, me. He's gonna end up in your fucking bushes at one in the morning, looking through your window. You don't, mm-mm, you don't Ew, need that no. shit. Yeah, no, no, no. So I was, I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And he ghosted me, and I haven't heard from him since. So I'm like, well, there man, you go. fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. No, it's honestly, this is why I brought you on because I get a lot of questions about dating, and then with the disability, and mm-hmm. I, I'm ready. I'm ready for your answers. I'm ready for your answers. But like the biggest question, oh, you got questions for me. Yes, I got questions for you. I know your perspective. If right. you like, if you were to date someone, or if like, cats married. This is all hypothetical. <laughs> this is just like asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we're good. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. If you were going to go on a date with someone, when would you want to be told that that person has epilepsy? Like, would you want it before the first date, during the talking stage? See if the date, the first date, even goes well. <laughs> When would you when would you want to be told? Well, <clears throat> looking at it like, okay, so and, and I'm going to do the perspective you and I, because right now we're having a conversation, okay? Yeah. So you and I meet some way, mm-hmm. somehow in life, right? Mm-hmm. And we go on a date. Mm-hmm. During that date, that first initial date, I want you to tell me during the night about mm-hmm. your condition. And okay. the reason I would want that is because... I, you know, this this is the the get to know you phase. Mm-hmm. So if you you, know, I need you to tell me about about yourself. Is it's not nothing detrimental, or it's not. It's like, oh my goodness, now I'm gonna catch it if you breathe on me. Like you know what I'm saying. So just just fucking tell me so that way I can at least educate myself. 
because like, real talk, talking to you, I I didn't know that there was different forms of it, different stages, different triggers, or whatever, whatever you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm still not an expert, but I know more than what I knew before I met you. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you told me that you had epilepsy, then it would behoove me to learn the different parts of it of what epilepsy actually is moving forward dating you you know yeah and so I, I think it would be uh, the, uh, you ain't got to tell me ahead of time because it's not like a fucking warning sign like i said it's not like it's like oh i had covid or oh, not, not that i can catch you get what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah. you know or it's like, oh, I, got, I got a fucking bug i got a flu i, I know of a fuck when we'll wait till the day, the, you over that flu and we'll go on a date then but the epilepsy, you ain't got to tell me about that before. Tell me the fucking night we going out while we talking. Oh, tell okay. me about yourself. Oh, you know, I'm I'm da 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 years old. I'm from da da. You know, I like to da 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 da. Oh, you know, and by the way, I also have epilepsy. Oh, where? Oh, what's 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 that? And then we can have a conversation about that. That's kind of how that's kind of how I do it. I usually uh, when a guy asks me. Like, hey, so what do you do for work and this and that? And I'm like, well, I be, I work at a middle mm-hmm. school. I go to school and I have a podcast on epilepsy. So I kind of throw it in there as like part okay, of everything yeah. that I do. But, you know, not everyone is out there on social media posting about their epilepsy cells. I was curious when. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if they, and if yeah, they well, don't want to go I on mean, a second me, date said, with I, them. Again, I don't think. If they don't want to go on a second date with them, they shouldn't be offended. I feel like. Yeah. I mean, I eh, yes and no, yes and no. I I feel like one. I mean, you can't be mad at nobody for not liking something. So if you tell somebody yeah. you got epilepsy and they're like, "Oh well, never mind." All right, fine, I get it. But it's like, why never mind? Like, I don't understand what the point of the never mind is for. Like again, like I said, it's, it's not like it's something that's contagious. It's not something that you can interact or you know what I'm saying. So if you're saying no because of the epilepsy, what about the epilepsy made you say no? Because then to me, it's like, well, now you're being fucking ignorant. And then mm-hmm. that's when you get the different side of me that people say that I'm an <laughs> asshole and mean or whatever. Because I, I just, like I said, I don't, I, I have very low tolerance for ignorance, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. Like I said, I can't, I can't be mad at you for not liking a certain type of person. You know, I like tall girls. Well, you're too short for me. I don't want to date you. All right, fuck it. Yeah. Like, ain't nothing I can do about that. You like tall girls. But you're like, oh, because you have epilepsy. Well, what the fuck difference does that make? I think for me, I say like, I feel like I, I can't be offended because some people may not be able to handle it because epilepsy is a lot to deal with. Hmm. And I don't, hmm. I don't think like everyone is up for what epilepsy brings in a relationship. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I, yeah, yeah. Not, not being able to handle the responsibility of dating yes. somebody with epilepsy. Yes. Because okay. when you, when you right. date All someone right. with epilepsy, like you, sometimes you become their caregiver and then you are also, if they don't drive, like mm-hmm. I don't drive, you you know, we got to get, like, mm. we got to get around transportation. And, you be, yeah. 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 You okay. Kinda, all right. You, all right. They may not yeah, be yeah, able yeah, to yeah. do all that. You know, they may not have it in them or they may just, you know, mm-hmm. whatever the reason is. So like, I feel me personally, yeah. I don't, yeah, I, I usually that. don't I get, get offended. And if they don't want to date me, I'm just like, you're lost. <laughs> you know? And definitely is their loss there. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I, okay. I'll rock yeah. with that. I'll rock with that. Yeah. See, I, I, at first, I, at first, I'm taking a hard stance. Like I don't, I don't get why you wouldn't. But then when you break it down, but you saying again, you you know more than me. I could understand that having to deal with the responsibility and like you said, yeah. becoming a caregiver, or whatever. I could, okay, okay. I, I, I bite on that. I bite on that. Yeah, that that that's that's my thing. If it, okay. if, if they're, I mean, I can't really. If they're just out here, they're just you know, like you said, being ignorant and not don't know anything about epilepsy and they have the wrong idea about epilepsy and they just completely you shut you down because of it. Okay. But I feel like at the same time, you kind of, you kind of have to give that person a chance to explain what their epilepsy mm-hmm. is like, because not everyone's epilepsy is the same. My epilepsy isn't as bad as other people's. There's other people who can't even go out of their house. 
and that you see me going mm-hmm, everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Hey, yeah, walking yeah. with your fucking knit hat like it's cold or some shit. It is cold. <laughs> it's not cold. No. It's so it don't cold. be cold where you live. No. <laughs> it's so cold. It's- Listen, three days ago, it was 74 <laughs> degrees for me. And today, the high is 39. Like, we have snow on the ground right now. But yet, it was 80 degrees three days ago. See, and we've been having, cold. like, 50, 60 degree weather. It's been cold. And the wind. The wind oh, here is no, what... 50, 60. Oh, pobrecita, it's no. <laughs> it's cold. Look there, I'd still be on the motorcycle in 50 degree weather. 50 degree oh, weather no. is still bike weather. No. no oh, hell no, yeah. No. It's, it's, it's too cold. The wind, that's what gets to me is the wind because it goes start right through you. It goes through your bones and everything, your soul. That's why you wear leather. Oh, I don't wear leather. See? I need, I need, I need to up my game then with my wardrobe. Mm-hmm. That's why you wear but leather, all- not knit caps. You wear leather. <laughs> but they also say like... Because uh, my sister, like she's, she, you know, she's lived in Virginia. She's lived in colder places, and she's from California. But mm-hmm. she said that the jackets of California aren't really jackets. They're more for just like fashion statements. They're not like built like if you were. I, I believe it. Oh, so I believe it. And I get cold easily. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and plus, I told you, yeah, we we were real, we were real shit over here. And a lot of times, honestly, I just wear the hat because it's I didn't do my hair, <laughs> so I just I just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see me in a hat, see I'll now, just the, now that okay, <laughs> okay, or I'll yep, put it. I'll put my I hair get, in a ponytail. I give you that. I give you that. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> see, I don't have them problems. Yeah. See, I got those problems. And I don't like doing my hair yeah, every single day because no then I had to wake up earlier. And I'm like, <laughs> hell, I shaved my head this morning. I was like, oh, so I'm gonna be on camera. Let me be nice and nice and bold. <laughs> See, it's it's. I think it's easier for guys mm-hmm. than managing their hair. They can just go bald. Most yeah, this, guys this, look this good was bald. This was me doing anyways. my hair. Yep. <laughs> Most guys look good bald. So oh, I'm well, like, just go bald. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Another. <laughs> Another question that I did have, I oh, I'm kind of scared to, <laughs> for this answer. But another question no, that no, I hit me, hit me, come on, <laughs> is a lot of people don't feel like they are worthy of love or worthy of being in a relationship because they feel like they're a burden. They feel like they're too much. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do feel like that. Like. Why would you want to date me when you can date someone else who doesn't have my problems? So how how would you what advice would you give give us? <laughs> I think that that's you again taking on societies and the the ignorance of people taking on their insecurities because it's like you you say why would you date me instead of somebody else why the fuck wouldn't i date you like why why wouldn't i and you say oh you know well, because i have epilepsy it makes me a little bit more uh, a little bit more of a burden to handle right mm-hmm. okay but are you not are you not worthy of that are you not worth that like what what about you why why would you diminish your value and diminish your worth as a woman as a person like you know that the fuck you know that you that fucking deal like know that you are have confidence in who you are yeah so why wouldn't i date you why the fuck not no, nothing nothing that is ever worth anything is ever easy to do ever cuz if it was everybody would do it yes. so if dating you was easy everyone would be fucking dating you yeah. But it's not easy to date you because your value was that high. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Going to find a piece of uh, a diamond, going to find some gold in the ground, it's not easy to do. If it was, everybody would fucking be digging in the dirt, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But not everybody does because it's fucking hard. It is hard to do. You spend months and months and months and months digging through shit and find nothing to find one gold nugget. Mm-hmm. It ain't easy. 
So date okay, so why would dating you be easy? Yeah, that's that's the that's that goes to show the value of your worth. So why yeah. wouldn't I date you? Why why wouldn't I pursue you? Why wouldn't I chase you? It's up to the person to see the value of who you are. Mm -hmm. To see your beauty, to 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 see your intelligence, see see your demeanor, you know. Like I like I tell my, like even talking to my wife all the time, you know, before we got married, she's like, "Are you sure you want to marry me?" Yes, I'm fucking sure I want to marry you. Is is she always the easiest person to get along with? No. Sometimes she gets on my fucking nerves. Yes, she does. <laughs> but I love that woman, and I'm gonna continue to date her and continue to work on our marriage and continue to to increase our relationship and strengthen our our value because it's it's not easy to be with her, but mm -hmm. she's that fucking valuable to me. So it's the same thing with you. Like, well, why the fuck wouldn't somebody date you? You and and like I told you before, the way I look at it, you are not epilepsy. Yes, epilepsy is a part of you. Yes. So you as a totality, it's who you come with. It's like you have a daughter. Okay, yeah. that's part of your package. It's you are a package deal. That's part of the package. Yeah. Well, what's, what's wrong with that? Okay, accept this fucking package and take it. Yes. I think it's just it's just hard. So I, yeah, you, I, I, I know. Yeah. It's the the insecurities and you know, not feeling I guess worthy or and then for, for me personally, I've had bad experiences with people in my epilepsy. So I was like, I think I still have that in the back I, of my I, mind. I, I'm not saying you didn't. Yeah. I'm not saying you didn't. And I, I acknowledge all of that. But at the same token, too, you have to learn to stop and separate. Don't take their bullshit, their mentality. Don't take the shit that they said as truth. As like if someone walks, you know, it's the same shit. Like example is, um, you get girls that walk into, a, I, I, over here in Detroit, you see this shit all the time. You see girls walk into a liquor store and these motherfuckers outside drinking, smoking weed, just chilling in front of the store like, like retards. And the girl walks through and you hit a guy, damn girl, what's your name? You got a man? Let me get your number. And the girl tells him, no, nah, that's all right. I got a man instantly well fuck you then bitch you ain't that cute no way but two seconds ago she was cute enough and damn and you wanted her number but because yeah. she rejected you now it's not nah, fuck you bitch you ugly yeah you don't 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 listen to that shit don't listen to that that bullshit that's fucking ignorance don't take on the shit that these motherfuckers are saying to be truth is that the truth no nah. No. Are you ugly? Fuck no. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not on top of all two out of talking like you you very fucking attractive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and it's it don't 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 take on other motherfuckers bullshit as as the God given truth. Did Jesus come down and tell you Sam you ugly? No. No. Oh, fuck all that shit. Don't don't take on their shit. <laughs> yeah, he would yes, actually don't, say the opposite. Don't don't take on their insecurities as yeah, don't don't do that. Don't no understand again. Have confidence in yourself. Take value in who you are. You are intelligent. You funny. You are creative. You created a fucking platform out of nothing. That's hard enough to do in itself. Trust me. I know I done done that already. You know. So the fact that you started a podcast goes to show that you have grit and dexterity already. Plus, on top of the fact that you are a mother, a single mother raising your daughter, dealing with epilepsy, and you are you are very much an active mother. You ain't sitting somewhere crying, holding the pillow. Oh, I can't raise my daughter. No. Nah, you are here doing it. Plus, you have a job. You live day to day. You have activities. You talk about doing certain shit. I ain't about to say what we talk about in the, in the, in the you know, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, you talk about doing certain, you know, adrenaline junkie type shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, between you and I. And I always say, why the fuck shouldn't you? Why can't you? Do it. The, yeah. Have confidence in who the fuck you are. Don't listen to other motherfuckers and their insecurities and their bullshit. Because that's how you break yourself down. Yeah. You know, like for me, I know I'm not. Um, I'm not the most attractive. I'm not the most uh, funniest. I'm not the best in shape. I'm not the best. You can go down a whole list of shit that I'm not. But what I do know for undisputable fact is I'm a good fucking man. Mm -hmm. And can't nobody tell me different. Yep. You know, I may not be everyone's cup of tea. But I I, I promise you I'm for somebody. And yep. like with my wife now, like I, I, I found my wife when I said I would never get married again. I fucking fuck marriage. Married for what? Fuck no. And she got my dumb ass down the fucking aisle. <laughs> so it, 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 like I said, is I, I again I I I think I'm a good guy. She recognizes it. I think she's a fucking phenomenal woman. And we have our relationship. But that's because we have confidence in who we are outside of us being together. 
You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And I think that that's, that's what you need to do first is get the confidence in you. Understand who the fuck you are. Sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to stroke your own titties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's, it's, it's like shit like that. You, you, you have to, to have the confidence to do that. You know, don't, don't take on other motherfuckers bullshit. If yeah. they can't appreciate you, that's their fucking loss. Fuck them. Yeah. That's, that's what I need to get in my head. Just, I think yeah, I need and to work, that's for, I, I need and that's to work for anybody on that. else listening with epilepsy. Yeah. Fuck all that negativity shit. See, this is isn't he the perfect guest for this? <laughs> to knock some sense into us. Yeah, I I I, 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 I tell you all the time. Like, I I, I, again, this. I I like to, I like to be, and I'm 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 talking to you. And this is what I meant in the beginning when I say don't coddle me. The yeah. way that I'm talking to you right now is how I like people to talk to me. Don't mm-hmm. I'm not I, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. I'm not trying to make it fluffy. I'm not gonna try and soften the blow. This is how the fuck it is. This is what the fuck I feel. This is what the fuck I think. And then again, the fuck do I know? I, you who the fuck? Is it? Well, I'm just some jackass with a fucking opinion. It could take it or leave it. You could take half of what I'm saying and run with it. You can take all of what I'm saying and run with it, or you can just say, "Fuck that guy. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about." And and fucking let let me be. That's yeah. fine. But if what I'm saying resonates with you and what I'm saying holds truth to you, then you know, fucking you welcome and 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 run with it. Be the best version of you that you could fucking be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I definitely need to work on that. <laughs> Cause I like for everyone that's listening, like I always go to cat. I always go to cat and be like, "Hey, so what's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on this?" And I think it's like, because mm-hmm. I I haven't been out in the dating world that long. It's only been like a little over a year. So like I'm still trying to navigate everything, and the dating mm-hmm. world sucks. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, do. it sucks. Yeah, do. It sucks. Like. I got one dude asking me to be his girlfriend the first day he tried talking to me. I'm like, dude, I don't mm. even know you. You don't even fucking know me. I don't even know you. Mm, I would, how do I know if you're like not a crazy person? Like, As I'm saying, for, for him to ask to be your girlfriend before y'all even go on a date, that is a crazy motherfucker. I told yes. you, he's the kind of guy that would end up in your bushes at 2.30 in the morning trying to look through your window. Fuck that. That's crazy. You only, you only know. Nope. Nope. No. Leave that shit the fuck alone. Yeah, I know. And then... And, 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 you, and you're right. Being single fucking sucks, bro. Like, I, 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 that, that's where the bald-headed hoe shit comes from. Like when, <laughs> when, y'all, when y'all hear me, I'm always saying that, you know, I'm Reverend Ratchet, the bald-headed hoe. And, um, you know, and even when, when I did get married, I told my wife, you know, you're about to marry a bald headed hoe. And it's for <laughs> me because being single was easy for me. I was finding somebody to sleep with and be with. Is That's fucking easy. I could do that every day, all day. No problem. Yeah. But after a while, it got fucking boring and I'm sick of that. I, I got tired of it. And I, like I said, I, I thought I was just about to be alone for fucking ever. But the single world is fucking full of idiots and retards and people who just want to be the proactive. Oh, my husband's out there somewhere. My wife is somewhere for me. I'm waiting for you, wife. Now, get the fuck out of here. You just say that shit because it sounds good on fucking social media. No, no, mm-hmm. y'all motherfuckers don't believe that shit because you're not working on yourself. If, if, if being single and wanting to stop being single, you have to work on yourself. Mm-hmm. Make yourself better. Yeah, that's what because I'm when that when that person doing. does come to see the value in you. Yeah, you 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 got to be Listen, I was single and literally in no relationship and no commitment, no loyalty to anybody for about 5 years. I'm on my 8th year. 5 years. From the last relationship I was in, I got divorced. I was in a relationship. We had moved in, lived together, was very serious and then we broke up. And after that, it was about 5 years in totality that I was single. And in that five years, I was a hoe. I dated. I screwed. <laughs> I got drunk. I was out. I was doing ball headed hoe shit. And then after a while, it stopped. And the last three years of it, I was really working on myself. And I'm still not done working on myself. Mm-hmm. But I started working on myself because I'm like this. This is fucking. I, I got tired of waking up alone, going to sleep alone, eating dinner alone, eating breakfast alone, walking the dog alone, cutting the grass alone, like doing everything alone. Got fucking tired. So you got to work on yourself. That's what I'm currently. So you said you've been doing it I, for a year. 
No, yeah. well, da- keep out doing in the it. dating Don't world. Stop. Keep doing it. I've been out in the dating world for a year, but I've been single for eight years. Okay, see, and everyone, everyone's got a different time limit. Every war has a different uh, lifespan. Yeah, I know. And so yours and is a little different. Okay. The reason why I've been single for so long because I was focused on my daughter. I was worried about making sure she's okay after the divorce and all that. And it wasn't until like you the don't end owe of, nobody no explanation for nothing you do. Yeah, and 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 the and back in 2022. I was like, my daughter and I had a conversation and she finally felt comfortable with me actually going out on dates and stuff like that. So like, respect, I mean, respect. yeah, I, I, I put my daughter first for all these years and that's, you know, mm-hmm. as a single mom, mm-hmm. as I should, as I should, I wasn't worried about it, yeah. but now I I've been single, that. but now I've been single for so long that I kind of, I go back and forth. Do I want to? And then get in a relationship. You you forgot like how to single. be in a relationship. Yes. I, I like being single. So I'm like, because every time a, a dude tries to talk to me, it just reminds me of like, why I'm not in a relationship? Because it's nothing but. So you, you like being single because you get to do everything the way you want, right? Yes. I, I have freedom because in my last okay. relationship, I did not. I was controlled. Yeah. So you need to ask yourself. Is having complete control over the aspects of your daily life worth the 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 singularism, the the loneliness, the the some nights of disparity? Yeah. Which one is worth more to you? And if being single works for you, some people are just meant to be single. Mm-hmm. Or if you sit back and you're like, damn, I really do miss companionship. I really do want someone. And I'm speaking like for me, like, <clears throat> again, so I'm I'm six feet tall and 250 pounds. I'm a big guy, right? And I'm covered in tattoos. And when you see me, I ride a Harley and I'm always wearing leather, right? So just off the rip, I already look intimidating just <laughs> from the visual alone, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you hear me talk. And I'm in mm-hmm. your face, so I'm even more intimidating, right? But people don't know is like when I come home, I'm not this to my wife. You're like a big old teddy she can bear. rub my head, and I'll let her. <laughs> yeah, she. I, I become that. I, I will become mm-hmm. the teddy bear for her. I'll snuggle her, or if she wants to hold me, or we want to watch this shit that she likes to watch. I don't that I watch with her because I want to enjoy that time with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or just certain things that we want to do with one another. You know, she don't always like all the dumb bike shit that I do, but she goes with me on some of them because she wants to enjoy the time with me. You know, mm-hmm. she ain't no hardcore biker like me. But mm-hmm. if I'm out all the time doing bike shit, she wants to spend time with me. She's like, all right, well, I'm gonna roll with you on da 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 da. You know. Yeah. And she will cross state lines on that bike with me because it's important to me the mm-hmm. same way I'll go and do certain activities with her that aren't my activities, but I want to do that with her. And it yeah. is, and I'm saying all this to say that I, I need it. I, I was missing that part of companionship, of being held, of being, of not having to fight the whole fucking world all the time. Yes. And she's giving me that space to be safe and to re- re- re-energize myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She she allows me to not be the warrior all the time. Yeah. So that's something that you gotta gotta ask yourself. And and, and it took a lot of work for me to get to where I'm at. It, this shit wasn't easy. This shit didn't come overnight. You know. So it takes it takes time. But the, you got to start with how you said working on yourself. And then mm-hmm. after you work on yourself, or you find someone who's worthy of your time, then you commit to that and start working on a us. But the foundation has to be strong. It has to be somebody in a good space, you in a good space. Y'all come together and make a great space. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But that's something and that you got to do, but that's, that's up to you. That's, that's your decision. Yeah. And I, I honestly do want to be in a relationship, but at the same time, I don't want to deal with the drama. I don't want to. So it, it comes with it. It does. You know, my wife argue does. all the time. No, well, not all the time, but we argue and disagree a lot. You yeah, know? it's gonna because it's two. It's two people coming Absolutely. together and two personalities coming together. You're mm-hmm. not always gonna mesh, and mm-hmm. that's where mm-hmm. I struggle. And that's what I struggle with was like 
these dudes try to talk to me and then it don't they they do something that makes me mad and I'm like do I really want to be that's when I question it when these guys are out here doing dumb stuff well that that's when you have to question is it worth it if what you're getting out of that relationship does fall Mm -hmm. is it worth you dealing with this bullshit you get what I'm saying yeah is it is it worth it? Is is the juice worth the squeeze? You ever heard that before? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that's you gotta I figure think, out. I is think, the juice worth the squeeze? I think for the right person it is. Yeah. Uh, it absolutely is. But yeah, you gotta find right... out, okay, so is this the apple Who? for you? Is that the is that the orange you want? Yeah. Who's that who's the person? That's that's the thing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's the hard that's mm-hmm. the hard part. Or like who's gonna be the right person for you? Yeah, I I I think that the finding that person is that is the difficult part, and then once you find the person, you have to recognize that that is the person, you know. Oh no, see, no. and understand <laughs> that single Sam is not going to live in relationship Sam's world, so single Sam is going to have to die. Oh, but is the death of single Sam worth relationship Sam? See what I'm saying? I like single it's, it's Sam. Hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's <laughs> hard. I like single Sam. I yeah, didn't I, like. I didn't like who I became I love when single I was cat. In a... single cat. Was fucking awesome. <laughs> but I'm so much more fun. I'm more. I'm See, uh, yeah, a lot more yep. happy being single than I was in my relationship. And I know my next one isn't gonna be like that because I know better. I'm, you know, I'm older. I'm wiser. Mm-hmm. I, I, I've learned from experience. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I don't want Mm -hmm. to revert to that version of me because that was not a person that I like. It was a very toxic relationship. So, Mm -hmm. Well, a lot lot of times we get stuck in toxic relationships because we have this comfortability, this comfort blanket. We know this is what it is and how to handle the toxicity, but that don't make it okay. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was comfortable in that relationship because I knew how to handle mm-hmm. it. I knew what to expect because it was yep. the same yep. thing over yep. and over again. Yeah, I knew what to expect. So coming mm-hmm. into a new relationship, I don't know what to expect. I don't know who this next person is going to be, his personality or anything like that. So it's like going from being single where I'm in my comfort zone. Again, I found my my, com- my comfort zone and then having to jump into something that's that's not going to be all that great or i don't know i don't know how well, to put it's, it it's but... not gonna be the normal of what you used yeah. to yeah i think i think that's it is the, the the normality is different it's gonna it's yeah it's gonna be different and that's that's the the unknown is scary it's always scary but again the things that's worth it ain't always easy that's true ah <sighs> I feel like I'm having a therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so like, we 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 at church right now, Reverend Ratchet at church service. Exactly. Like this was for other people who want it, but it turns out to be my therapy session. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. dang, Sam, you, you it's got for both a lot of work. <laughs> who's to say that your listeners ain't gonna learn from this? And yeah, this this could affect other people too. You know? Yeah, I I I got a lot to work on still. I think. Yeah, we all do. We all do. You, we're, we're never finished. We're never a finished no. product. Never. We're always going to be working on something. Uh, 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 we're always going to be in, in transition. We're always going to be in progress. You know what I'm saying? We're never going to be a finished masterpiece. Never. You know, mm-hmm. because life is forever changing. Everything changes from day to day. You never know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're always working on ourselves, no matter what. But like I said, you just got to make sure that you're in it for the right reasons. You know, don't don't be in a relationship just because you want to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. That's why I've been single for so long, because I'm not you know, and, 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 I'm not just going to jump into a relationship. Yeah. And then I might end up in another toxic situation. I'm not, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Go slow. Make sure that everything is right. And dating somebody, there's nothing wrong with dating somebody for a couple of years before y'all get really serious or whatever. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You're learning. You're learning each other. I would actually prefer that. I would actually so just, prefer just take that. your time. I would actually prefer going yeah, slow yeah, relax. than because these guys out here, I'm telling you, these guys out here are trying to do everything so fast. And that's one of my biggest like 
I guess icks is when they go too fast, especially if they're out here being sexual mm-hmm. too fast. And I'm like, we're not even in a relationship. You over here talking about send me some nudes, send me this. Like I had a fantasy about you. Like I hate that. I absolutely hate it when guys do that. I'm like, you. That's because then I think well, it's like I will that's say all the men, they want. Men are definitely. Yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> it's, it's, it depends on some men. Like, like, and I'm speaking on me again. Like, you know, talking, you know, about my wife and stuff. I told her before, you know, and I like when she was like, you know, is is am I just a sexual object to you? And it's like, nah, that's not all you are. Yes, I do sexualize you, and I do mm-hmm. want you in a sexual manner, but that's not all I want. There's more to it than that, you know. So uh, when you say, oh, you know, guys just want to have sex, that's part of it, yeah. But that's not. You got to make sure that that's not the only part, you know. How do you? And it's like I tell people all the time, like, go ahead, go ahead. How do you? How do you find? that guy that doesn't just want sex from you because that's that's the trouble that i'm having is they're moving too fast and all and i feel like that's all they want all they see is like a pretty face for me i I would say definitely turn them down the first quite a few times you know first five six times when it comes up nah i'm not ready for that nah Mm -hmm. i'm not ready for that no i'm not ready for that and see their reaction if they get annoyed and angry of being told no, then nah, fuck that. Or okay. they're like, all right, you can you can hear disappointment, but they ain't mad about it. Give them a little more time, because yeah, you know, men men are are physical, mm-hmm. and they do identify with physicality. So if they see you and you're attracted to them and you make their dick jump, well, fuck yeah, now I'm thinking about sex. I absolutely <laughs> am. Yes, <laughs> you know. But if you tell me no, I'm like, ah, oh, all right, all right, that's fine. I can jerk off tonight. You know what I'm saying? And then there's no problem. Then, all right, cool. Keep moving forward. But if they're like, oh, man, that's how the fuck you feel. Really? You're not going to give me none? Like, for real? That's how you really feel? All right, hold on, bro. Relax now. You're doing too much. Yeah. You got mad and you angry about this? Nah, that's, that's a wrap for you. Because mm-hmm. that's really all the fuck you want is to fuck. Yeah. Okay. And then what about the people who have a trigger of sex? Would that be a deal breaker for so with that <clears throat> that that kind of goes <laughs> to what i was saying about educating yourself about the about epilepsy Absolutely. itself yeah. you know what i'm saying you got to find yeah. out the person that you with what are their triggers you know mm-hmm. and if it's something sexual okay what about it is it the hormones that cause it is it the latex that cause it is it the spam I, I don't know maybe pulling your hair too hard i don't know and yeah. you smacking your ass on the left side is to, I, I don't i don't fucking know but you know what i'm saying like you mm-hmm. you got to figure out whatever that trigger is what's causing it and how do you navigate that situation okay you know so i mean yeah, that that's a that's a every individual person like if, if that's if, if being sexual really is your trigger and it's the hormones well that's gonna be a big deal to deal with how do, how do we deal with that does that mean that I let you have your seizure and we're good to go after? Or does that mean that we just don't have a sexual relationship? Or maybe we don't have sex in the traditional manner. Maybe we is oral sex is different. Or maybe we can just play with toys with one another. Or I, I, don't, I don't know. Hell, maybe you have an open relationship and you're my woman, but I have sex with this person. Or I, I don't know. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's, it, every case is individual is different. Yeah, that is true. I, could, I, I couldn't be in an open relationship. <laughs> I couldn't. Is, it My would wife be, said it, the same thing. It like, would no be too much like, that. yeah, it would be too much like cheating for me. Like, even if you had that permission, in my in my mm. head, I'm like, you're out here, you're you're out here, like, um, oh man, I forgot. But if you're out here just thinking about like this person being with this person and this person being with that person. So it's like for me, I just uh, no. Mm, if 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 we agree to have the open relationship, then it's not cheating. I'm I'm telling you what I'm doing. You're aware of what I'm doing. It's not cheating because you're aware. You acknowledged it. Now, if you say no, I'm not okay with that, and I still do it. Well, then I was fucking cheating. Yeah. No. But for See, like, and like my 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 wife never had the issue about cheating. For her, she's like, nah. She's like, I'm not. I'm not gonna share you. Okay. That's. I don't. Yeah. I don't like to share, and I don't. For me. Being in an open relationship is like, I have to share you. No. And then for me, 
I'll get the visual of like, this dude is doing what he does to me. And I don't like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like he's out here mm-hmm. doing it to another girl mm-hmm. when he should be doing it to me. I don't like that. Respect. <laughs> More positive. Everyone's got the parameters of their relationship. It is what it is. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like yeah, if you like, say that and I agree to it, then we move, we move forward like that. There's no problem. Yeah. Oh man. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking. I, I'm looking at your face. I, I I see like certain things in your head. You're like, hmm, you're coming to realizations with certain shit. Yeah. And then you're like, that's okay, like, okay, I, I can see you processing. I see you like, processing a lot of shit right now. <laughs> it's like therapy for me because I'm like, oh. I'm like <laughs> Like Kaz really like telling me, yeah, <laughs> and I need I need to get it together. <laughs> but that just that yeah, just you shows do. you too, like you, even but you, if but you're doing it, yeah. But that also shows you too, like for whoever's listening, like um, just because I'm on social media doesn't doesn't mean I don't go through my own things and and my own insecurities, you know. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see, you see, you yeah. see my I'll, life. I'll what thing, I like- what I put out there, I don't show everything. So there you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. As you hear what what else we say that we're, Oh, we, we try, I I try to be as transparent on my show as I can while protecting my personal life as well, you know? And, um, like I said, like my, like my wife is my personal life. My wife is not a podcaster. I am. Mm-hmm. So if it comes down to it and you got questions and I done had certain people who follow me, try to find her and try oh, to friend weird. request her. And it's like, what the fuck is you doing? You don't, you don't know her. What is you doing? That's Knock weird. that shit the fuck off. You know? Yeah. Like stop being, fu- yeah, it's real fucking creepy. That's- you know, like you, you guys are here following me, listening to me, then do that. My page is open. My page is a creator page. It's not private. You get more, yeah. more than welcome to come through and look through all the fucking pictures you want. But my kids and my wife got nothing to fucking do with none of this shit. Leave them the fuck alone. Exactly. You know? So <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. And, and I'm going to talk to you about my shit and the shit that I talk to you about, take with it and run with it. I'm not going to tell you every fucking thing, but yeah. you know, like I said, like even, even with my marriage, I, I talked about certain shit, with my marriage, but I'm not about to tell you every fucking thing we go through. It's none of your fucking business. That's my shit. That's my wife, not yours. Yeah, yeah, I don't talk about. You know, so same thing with yeah. I don't talk about my ex. Yeah, you 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 protect you, you pre- and I, even the episode you did, and I was proud of you for doing that. Like that was the big shit you did. What was it two episodes ago? Three episodes ago? Which one? When you when you had your daughter on? Oh yeah yeah yeah, two I think yeah two. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It was real real recent, real recent, real recent. Yeah yeah. And um and that was a dope episode too. Just just you know, cause you sat there and you was asking her, well, you know, how do you feel? And, and the, y'all started out when she was describing the very first time she had a memory of you having an episode, you know? Yeah. And so you know, it was it, it was dope to hear her her side of the story and 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 where she's coming from and how she looks at it and deals with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even with the same respect as like your dating life, when you're talking about you talk to her first about. How you feel if I get it back out there? How I feel? How you feel if I start doing ara ara? You know, yeah. and that's that's dope as a mother, and 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 as a as a a, a self aware woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So much much respect to you for that. And um, it's, it's it's identifying who you are, and you share you you were willing to share that part of yourself with your platform and everybody who listens. And that's, that's a big deal. I, you know, people need to recognize you opening yourself up is a vulnerability that yes. you are conquering. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes, because a lot of... And that's, and that's just me talking as a, as a regular man that doesn't even have an ailment versus someone who you, like you, you do have a, a, a disability that comes with you. That, that, that gives a little more stigma to... How like I was talking in the beginning that you're less than and you're like, oh, you know, well, like a normal person. You are fucking normal. You are fucking normal. Understand that you are fucking normal. You are a regular fucking person. Ain't nothing special about you. Yeah. So just fucking talk, talk your life. Be, be you. Be you. You know, I do the yeah. same shit like when I talk about like 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 the the uh, fucking alphabet people who want to be trans, queer, gay, uh-huh. lesbian, what the fuck ever. And like I even I got some of my my buddies who are gay, 
And I still crack on them and talk shit to them too. Because <laughs> if I don't fucking talk shit and make jokes about you, now I'm treating you different. Now I'm yes. being, oh, we, we can't, I can't say that to him because I'm going to hurt his feelings. Oh, we can't say that to her because she going to cry. Fuck that. Oh, fucking well cry because your dumb ass shouldn't have done that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You, you normal. You a fucking human. You're yeah. going to get these jokes and all these insults like everybody else do. Come on. People that be commenting yeah. on our stuff that get offended about everything. If we don't say things the way. Yeah. Like I've got, I've gotten a lot of hurtful comments and DMS because they didn't like the way I said something. See, and, 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 that's, and that's the thing is like, I get people being offended by certain things, right? I understand it. No problem. However, the big picture and context fucking matters because yeah. if you say something that somebody didn't like, right? Mm -hmm. Did you say it maliciously? No, or did I never they just say not agree with your opinion. Because I never if, say if you anything don't agree maliciously. with your opinion. Okay. I, I wouldn't imagine you did. No, but Unless it's, it's my to the ex. point to where if, <laughs> if they didn't agree, see, well, that, that's fine. Come on, fuck him too. Shit. <laughs> You know, if, if you don't agree with what somebody, with what you're saying, okay, mm -hmm. you don't agree. We can have a conversation about it, but don't come to me talking about, oh, well, you shouldn't say that. Well, you, you shouldn't say that. Why the fuck not? Because you don't like it. Okay. Yeah. But there's 20 motherfuckers over here that do like it. Yeah. So that what, agree. What, 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 what the fuck is the difference? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, and, and again, it's just an opinion. Everybody's got an opinion. I'm yeah. not saying everything I say is right. Like I told you before, you could agree with half the shit I say, all the shit I say, or none of the shit I say. It's up to you. That's entirely your, your fucking prerogative. Do what the fuck makes you happy. I'm only going to ever speak about what I know and where I'm coming from. And if it can help anybody along the way, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. You know, I'm not a fucking savior, but if, if I can talk and, and preach and say some shit, cool. You know, like we joke because of the whole nickname Reverend Ratchet. You know, in, in the case y'all don't know, uh, my friends call me Reverend Ratchet because I'm ordained to do marriages and I did it online. You know, it's not like I went through a sanctuary and I'm not a bishop or a deacon or no shit like that, but I went, I'm a clergyman and went online and got certified through the state. So, you know, through the power of Michigan, I can give weddings and legalize weddings. And um, because of that, all my friends called me, started calling me Reverend. And I'm I'm ghetto as fuck. Like I'm fucking hood than a motherfucker. So Reverend Ratchet is what they came with. So that's where Reverend Ratchet comes from. So if I ever get preachy and shit, that's that's why, you know. But I say that to say that again, it's just opinions. So if somebody on your platform gets mad at you because of what you said or something you typed out, fuck them. You know, like I I tend to not comment too much on platforms like yours because again i don't want to discourage people from coming to your platform like mm -hmm. i got a real close buddy of mine dude i grew up with from the hood we used to trap together and be out in the streets doing some things and now he's a successful business owner he's turned his life around he went from 300 plus pounds to now he's 170 pounds solid muscle mm -hmm. he's vegan and changed his life opened up a gym he's trying to help people get healthy with their lives and whatever whatever right and yeah. that's cool i love it i love everything that he's doing more fucking power to you brother you know but when i come on and crack a joke because he'll say some shit about oh but meat eaters want to da 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 you know i remember i used to crack jokes i'm like bro and I will send. I will put a picture on his post of a steak. And I was like, "I seen this fucking cow eating your lunch. Don't worry, I took care of him for you." You know, <laughs> and he would laugh. You know, but his followers didn't think it was too funny because yeah. they're vegan and whatever. So they're coming out and attacking me. And I and I at first I got defensive, like, "Who the fuck is you talking to?" And you know, being mm -hmm. a fucking keyboard warrior like everybody. And then I'm like, you know what? I said, this, this ain't right, bro. And I, t I said, bro, man, my bad. And I apologized to him. And he's like, no, you good. I said, nah, I said, I don't want to do that and fuck your shit up because I don't want people to have a sour taste of him because mm -hmm. of me. So moving forward with other people like with you, mm -hmm. I don't comment very often at all about shit you post because I don't want what I say 
to be taken wrong. You might understand what I'm saying, like, oh, that's just K. He don't mean it. But the other <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers might be like, who's this jackass? And how the fuck does he know? And he, I don't, I don't want a sour. Yeah. T- I don't want to tarnish your reputation because of my fucking mouth. You could just DM me whatever you want to say. But also, you... The- yeah, that's what I normally do. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, because yeah. you, you and I, our DMs go like every day, if not every other day, we talk and say some shit. Yeah. <laughs> we, we go back and forth. Oh. But it's but if you guys go back mm-hmm. into the comments, yep. when I, I posted a, I posted something that's saying, like, we're not a burden or whatever, Kat was the one who was like, no, the F you aren't. So, like, you out here, yep. like, reminding us, too, in the epilepsy community, like, hey, you guys aren't a burden. And, like, how you've been saying this whole entire time, like, we are normal. Like, there's, we got epilepsy, so what? You a regular fucking person. Yeah, so. Yeah. Who the fuck mm-hmm. cares? Okay, and so? Cat, cat, cat out here. Oh, cat out here always <laughs> be defending me, always be, like, hyping me up. When that whole strobe light thing happened, Kat was like, who was it? That motherfucker. Who was it? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, ooh, that, ooh. I laid into his shit, and me and him went back and forth for a minute. Like, mother- oh, oh see, that I motherfucker. Did, I, did, I didn't know that. You, I, didn't know, I didn't know if he responded yeah, no, to you. Yeah, no point in telling you for what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he responded back and tried to antagonize me. And I, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm the wrong motherfucker, bro. Like, <laughs> Oh, for sure. And I even told him, I said, shit. I said, bro, I, said, I, I, I even promised. I said, I'll meet you. I said, you tell me what state and city you at. I'll meet you any fucking gas station. Let's go. I'll fly out to you. Come on. And he got quiet <laughs> after that, just and came back, says, good, come on, slick shit. And I'm like, he's a little bastard. Yeah. Uh, I, well, said, I, have, I, I, have, I have bail money. I'll come beat your ass and get arrested. I don't mind. I've been arrested I, I for other shit. Come on. Any, honestly, I haven't gotten any strobe lights sent to me after See? after that. And 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 that's and that's the other dumb shit. Like you, he did. I ain't about to get into that. They, they, they just the, that's, <laughs> that's the shit I'm talking other. about. Other dumb motherfuckers don't listen to their ignorance. Yeah. That's what the fuck I'm talking about right there. Don't don't take on his dumb shit. And you did good standing up for yourself and telling him off and and, and exposing him the way that you did. Good for you, you know. But yeah. at the same token, did did you? Are you carrying any of the shit that he said with you every day? No. Does it affect you from day to day now? Haven't no. you moved on? Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, again, stop taking on society's bullshit. When you oh, and you always talk about, you know, oh, well, you know, because of this and be okay, so fucking what? You have epilepsy. Again, congratulations. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Like I, and again, I've never, from day one, I've never talked to you like you anything other than a normal fucking person because yeah. you are. I've day talked one. shit to you before and I done hyped mm-hmm. you up and tried to stroke your titties talking about you look good and you were smart and you this and you yep. that and being your corner man. And then at yep. the same time, I also talk shit like, how the fuck dare you put a damn head on <laughs> and it even cold? I ain't trying to hear yep. none of the shit you saying. Yep, yep, yep. That is all you true. Know? And, 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 day and, 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 one. But that's how I am. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'll fuck. It. I'll hype you up and put you down in the same sentence. Cause I be, I don't sit there before and I'm like, damn, like, all right, Sam, you looking good today? Come on, mama, I'll yep, see you. Yep. Come on with the luscious hair, wearing yep. that stupid ass fucking hat like you cold. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, that's that's cat. <laughs> but I appreciate that. I appreciate people who are gonna be honest like that and like brutally honest like that. Cause I need that. Cause I get, in my, I get in my head that's a lot. The, that's that's the only way I know how to be. Yeah, yeah I, and, and like I said, you you need to stop, and not not just you, the epilepsy community. Mm-hmm. Is that is that how you, that how I say it? the epilepsy yeah. community? Yes, is that right? Yeah, yes. Okay, all right. The the epilepsy community in totality. Please stop listening to everybody. Like I like I didn't, I'm telling her, I'm telling y'all the same way. Don't take on society's mentality. And think that you're less than and that you're not normal. You are a fucking human being. So what? The same way if you you see somebody who's gay, you can't tell a joke to them. You see somebody who's missing a leg and they have to walk with a crutch or an amputee or a prosthetic or whatever. You can't sit down and have dinner with them. You see somebody who has... Uh, 
uh, I can't fucking think of some, 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 I don't fucking know, Down syndrome. That means you can't fucking have a cup of coffee with them. Like, what the fuck makes you so fucking special that I can't talk to you and have a normal conversation? We can't joke. We can't watch a movie. We can't go to the fucking park and, and throw fucking popcorn at ducks. I don't fucking know. But it's, you, you stop taking on society's demeanor and thinking that you less than and thinking that you're not worthy and thinking that you oh um i i can't do this because i'm ep- i have epilepsy okay yeah. and the fuck like i don't told sam like i come out and give her a bike ride and she's like well i'm nervous whatever i have an episode then i'm gonna strap your ass to my fucking back <laughs> and hold the fuck on let's go like we didn't have I'm, this conversation because she's because yeah. she said that she wants to ride the bike but I'm she's down. nervous uh, and yeah i get it I, and right, and and I understand being nervous. Cool. We'll put the fucking helmet on, put some gloves on, get you in some leathers. And I'm being dead ass honest about that. If you're afraid of falling, I will strap you to my fucking back so you're not gonna fall. <laughs> and if I feel your weight shift, all right, now it's time to fucking pull over. But mm-hmm. we know you're not going no fucking way. There's no reason you can't fucking go on a motorcycle ride. Let's do it. What's the problem? I, I'm I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I See, think, but, yeah, and, but that's, I think that's what I'm talking different. about. That's what I'm saying. I think this yeah, was definitely you, you know, a good reminder. Let's do this shit. I think this was definitely a good reminder to all yeah. of us that, like, yeah, we're we're completely normal. We're just like everybody else, and we 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 as a community need to stop putting it out there that oh we're not normal or we're not like everyone else. No, we got we got epilepsy. We're just like that, 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 that's exactly that's exactly it. And, and again, again, it's about having confidence in yourself and like. And and I, I so again the way that I talk when I say stroke your own titties I'm not talking about nothing sexual I'm talking about hyping yourself up the yeah. same way that like some men need to suck their own dick because know that the fuck no know, know that you fucking worth something know that you about that so don't let nobody get in your head and tell you less than and if you got to be your own fucking cheerleader and you got to stand for your own grounds and make sure that you know what you are what you talking about and know your own worth and know your fucking value and know who you are that's what I'm talking about where sometimes you do. You to stroke your own titties and suck your own dick and do that shit know who the fuck you are know what you about don't let no one else get in your head and tell you that you less than yes because who the fuck are they yeah what makes their opinion so fucking worthwhile what makes them the fucking totality of everything the fucking opinion fuck them do what you need to do for yourself and be better for yourself work on yourself as we've been talking about the whole episode and know mm-hmm. that you are fucking normal yes yeah it's yeah <laughs> we need we need a cat we need a cat to tell us this and just put us in our place because yeah i i go through it i mean you know we've had conversations like this before and you know i've other people in the epilepsy community we've talked you know, the same thing mm-hmm. like i said definitely you know and if, if if anybody wants to talk to me directly or whatever you know uh you can find me i'm i'm never hard to find um, like I said, podcast page, a personal page. You just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always out here. It's, 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 I'm always willing to talk to anybody and let y'all know my opinions. And, and again, my opinions may not be worth nothing, or maybe it do help you. I don't know, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm always out here. And I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all the way I talk to everybody, very direct. You know, I'm not, I'm not an emotional person. Um, I take pride and, and I love to boast myself up on the fact that I make all my decisions out of logic. I don't do emotional shit. Emotional is not within my um, wheelhouse realm. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Cause what? Oh, you think I'm emotional? No, I don't think you're emotional, but I think you do make some decisions based on emotion. Talk to me. What I do? Like get married. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that an no emotional... that was logical that was logical how was that no, logical that was, not, that was logical because i i knew i knew the value of her and what she could bring to me in a whole and my life is better with her in it versus without her in it logical hmm so do you think a lot of guys are like you that just think logical like that no no, you're one. I of think the kind. that they like to think that they are, <laughs> but the actual actions of being logical, yeah, actually, the actions of being logical makes you appear callous and cold-hearted and without empathy. Yeah. 
And that's something that I deal with a lot because people tell me the name. You don't give a fuck. I care. I just don't show it. You and care I think that that's, in, that's the difference. Yeah, you care in your way. Like this whole conversation with you, mm-hmm. you can tell that you care. It's just you do it in your Definitely. way. Yeah. And again, and again, there, I I do care. I do because I I again I I don't like I don't like the mindset that seems to be ingrained in you. And I'm sure you're not the only one to where how you you talk um, about that mm-hmm. you're like you're not normal. Yeah, I'm not the only one. And it to this, me is like yeah, it's, and, and it's like it's, so someone who had cancer, that means they can't appreciate a joke. That means I can't I can't rail on them. I can't talk shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I got buddies of mine that ain't nothing wrong with them and they do dumb shit. And I talk the other day I had one of my uh, club members. I was sitting right in, we were sitting right in, uh, in front of the clubhouse, drinking, eating, smoking cigars. And the motherfucker took a drink and started drooling. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You got a hole in your fucking lip? And he's like, no, man, I just I drink too much. I'm like, oh, okay. Then he took a bite of food and food fell out. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. And you, motherfucker, you can't eat. Like, you got a fucking hole in your lip. What the fuck's wrong with you? And started, you know, fucking riling him up the rest of the fucking night because now nah, he need a fucking bib and can't eat right, grown-ass man. Don't know how to fucking eat and drink. Always fucking making a mess and shit like you a fucking baby and shit. My granddaughter eat better than you and fucking <laughs> went on town with him. Because he's a, he's a regular fucking person. Same way, if you and I was out and you did some shit like that, I'm a fucking, I'm a rail on you too. I you, know you, you would. What, what makes you so special? I know you what, would. What makes you so fucking special if you can get these jokes? I know you would. That's the part. What, baby? Do I want one? Oh, yeah, I want one. I'm sorry, y'all. My daughter just asked me a, 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 a retarded question. She's going to say, you want a Red Bull. Hell yeah, I want a Red Bull. <laughs> you like breathing air? <laughs> See, ask dumbass questions. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it, again, I, I, I think that y'all need to get over the fact that, and like I've told you before, this, 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 this is the way that I look at it, and I think it's a healthy way for you too as well, that epilepsy is not who you are. Yeah. It's not. It is a part of you, yes, because it affects your day-to-day life. And it is something that you are going to have until there's a cure, right? Yes. But that's not all who you are. What else do you like doing? Sam is also an employee. Sam is also a daughter. Sam is also a mother. Sam is also a creator. Sam is also a uh, a pet lover. Sam is that, uh, well, you have what? How many birds you got? I got two birds and a dog. Okay. See, see, you see what I'm saying? So all these facets, yes, and Sam has epilepsy, but that's not all she has. There's more to her than just that. So why do you only pick that small portion of the pie to make the whole fucking pie? It's the insecurity. It's the insecurity. Get over that shit. Mm-hmm. Get over that shit. How, though? How do you get over that you gotta figure that part out why the <laughs> fuck are you listening to everybody else i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't somebody, know again and 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 this is this is my interaction with everybody from day to day all right everybody always says oh that you don't care and you say whatever you're right i say whatever the fuck i want to whoever the fuck i want because mm-hmm. at the end of the day right if mm-hmm. i said something to offend somebody if i said something to anger somebody if I said something that made somebody cry or insert whatever reaction, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, do the lights in my house still work? Yes. Is the heat still on? Yes. Are my children going to eat dinner? Yes. Am I going to have a house to sleep in? Yes. So what the fuck difference does it make what they think? Does their opinion really fucking matter on my day-to-day life? No. No. So why do we put so much fucking stock and so much fucking value in someone who we don't fucking know in their opinion? Yeah. Why does what Karen and Tim and Jessica and John fucking matter? What the fuck they say? Who gives a shit? Why are they so fucking special? That they make you feel you're not normal. And it's not it's not only the people you don't know. You gotta you gotta apply that too to the people you do know. 
because the people you do know also make. Man, I got family. Just fuck them. It. I got family. Yeah. I don't fuck with my damn self. Yeah, yeah. And and and, and I, this, this is something that you would have heard multiple times on my show. Okay. Yeah. You hear everybody say all the time that blood is thicker than water, right? Blood yeah. is thicker than water, and that is wrong. That's the wrong fucking quote. That's not how it goes. The real quote is, "Blood of the covenant is thicker than water of the womb." All right. Mm-hmm. Blood of the covenant. The blood of the covenant you create in life, the family you mold, the family you make, the blood of that covenant will always be thicker than the water of the womb you are born of. Just because you share DNA makes you fucking related. That don't make you family. So if you got to tell your family to suck your dick, tell your family to suck your dick. Fuck them. Live your life. Yes. Live your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's honestly a good reminder, honestly. Because yeah, you know, and we, I, I apologize. I know I don't talk the way that your normal your normal guests talk and how they, your, your show really goes on. I, and I, I know I know y'all say y'all got some words that go through here and there, but I'm sure I'm the guest that's taking the fucking title of cuss words used in one show. So oh yeah, I, don't think I apologize. It. I ain't trying to offend nobody, uh-huh. but. This is how the fuck I talk. This is how I talk. I talk like this worse than this on my show. <laughs> he's he's being tamed right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but I appreciate I appreciate it because honestly, it's it's a, such a good reminder, and it's a good reminder for me too because I say all the time like I'm more than epilepsy, but obviously, in the back mm-hmm. of my head, I still have that thought where all people see is it. You still got an inkling. Yeah. Yes. There's something yeah. that's not making you swallow that pill all the way. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, okay, I know it, but how, how do I make myself believe it? I think that's where I'm at. You, yeah, you, you got to live it. You have to live it. Okay. You say it and you acknowledge it, but you're not living it. And that part, I can't help you with mama. That's something uh, you got to do. You, you got to figure that part out. Yeah, that's something I have to figure out. I help you out the best I can. If you need daily reminders, I text your ass every day if you need that. But you got to figure out what you need in order to live that. Yeah. You say it, you acknowledge it, you know it, you recognize it, but you're not living it. That's what I need to Again, you're fucking normal. You are normal. You're a normal fucking human. Thank you. All right, Randy, I need you to remember that. You are normal. Ain't nothing fucking special about you. You're normal. You are normal. Yeah. I need to I need to I need to remind myself of that. Cause I know, but like I said, something in the back of my head where it's just mm-hmm. it's not clicking. Yeah. Well, get to get it together. Knock the bullshit <laughs> off. Get it together. <laughs> I'm trying, cat. I'm trying. I, I am working on myself, mm. and and you know, so in time, in time. You got this. I got faith in you. You got this. Watch one day. I'm a. I'm a. And if be, not, I'll be. I'll be here to rail on you for fucking up. Okay, deal, deal. <laughs> I need that. I anytime you see me, like okay, just just DM me. Or, Text me whatever and be like, Sam, come on, get it together. I got you. Wait for me to see you in that dumbass hat again. <laughs> it's actually getting how, warmer now, so it's not. I don't. You. It's getting warmer now, so I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that hat too too much now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is snow outside on the ground for me right now. It, it, it was eighty degrees three days ago. It was seventy eight degrees three days ago, and right now there's snow on the ground. Dang, I don't know if I could live like that. I get mm. to that's so. So please let me hear about how cold it is for you. That's, I want I want to hear this. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, exactly. Like, exactly. But for you, you're used to it. <laughs> I'm in Cali. That don't make no difference. Cold is cold. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's like me telling a boxer that getting hit in the face is fine. I mean, you just go punch you in the face. You're used to it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> Make no sense. I still don't want to get hit in the face. Uh, maybe it's just me. 
And then, oh, and let me tell you too how important being on your show today was to me, right? Aww. So the link you sent me apparently only works on a Google platform. Oh, really? So I had to download Google Chrome as a web browser in order to download this fucking app in order to be on this shit. Because oh. it don't work on Safari. Cause remember, I'm an Apple guy. I got everything Apple. Everything Apple. Well, my the what I use, my laptop, is a MacBook. So I use Safari for everything, mm-hmm. too. But you have, you're using it on Google, but aren't I, you? Yeah, I'm on Google. But you're not using right Safari. Now. You're using no. Google. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I had to download Google Chrome. And then these motherfuckers had the nerve. Would you like to make this your default setting? No, the fuck I don't. I don't even want you on my computer. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm only doing this shit because Sam want me to. <laughs> Aww, thank After this, you, I'm Kat. never gonna use you again. <laughs> like I'm gonna keep it on here because I'm I, I do you know hopefully I get invited back and I and I need of you course. to come back on my show real soon. Yes, um, I'm so down. But uh, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this on here just for the future. But I'm never using this shit until I talk to you again. <laughs> oh, it's only for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little box of file that says Sam and put the fucking Google Chrome in there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have to take yeah, a picture shit. if you do. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm dead at do this shit. I'm a dead at do this shit right now. When I get them talking to you, watch. I'll send it to you. Okay. I'll send it to you. You can you can post it up with this episode. <laughs> well, I gotta put it somewhere nice though, because I, I got nudity on my uh on my screensaver. Ooh. So I gotta put it somewhere. Yeah, my well my background is it's a collage of a bunch of different girls on bikes and motorcycles. Oh, and okay. some of them are naked, some of them ain't. Oh. So I just got to find one that has clothes on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You are definitely a character. I don't want you to think like, oh, my goodness, he has porn just sitting there. No. It's, again, it's the men, men it, are visual. It's the sex appeal. It's 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 mostly the motorcycles, honestly. Like, if you if you follow Kat, everything is motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> everything. <laughs> a lot All of his likes. posts are about a motorcycles. Lot of motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I did not know. I didn't like people who love yep. motorcycles, love motorcycles. They're like obsessed with them. Mm. Because my uncle's the same way. Definitely. My uncle's the same mm. way. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't ride these bikes because they're cute. This is who the fuck I am. Like I've I've been in accidents. I've I've been in a coma. I've broken my femur. Like I've I've had severe accidents and still out here riding. I'm not, I will so ne- I will I will I need to kill me to stop me from riding. That's so scary. That's scary. Nope. Though. Nope. <laughs> nope. Why is it, what's so scary about it? What's scary I, about it? Because well, I mean, you could lose your life either in a car too, though. But you can lose scary. your life exactly in a car accident. That's what people are like, oh we're on a bike, you could die. You can die in a car. You can die yeah, in a you truck. Can. You can die on a train. You yeah, can die on a plane. Look at me, now I sound like fucking Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm in. <laughs> I just thought of the best edit <laughs> of like of this clip. You <laughs> saying that rhyme, and then 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 like little pictures like Doctor Seuss coming out. <laughs> <laughs> do your thing, Mama. Do your thing. You get my consent to do whatever you want. Go ahead. Cat, a cat in the hat too. No. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh, yo, <laughs> yep, yep. Just put the fucking hat on me. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Respect. Respect. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you, Cat, for being here and knocking some sense into me and the rest of the epilepsy community. We definitely needed this. It's, it's been it's been a privilege. Like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, again, I, I ain't trying to offend nobody. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And again, that's, that's just how I talk. It's just how I talk. Don't don't take no offense to nothing I say. And if you want to find me, you don't like something I say, come and find me. Sam ain't say none of that shit. I said it. I said it. And I say it again. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah. I appreciate you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your show, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank and you. And again, I wish the best of luck to you. And I hope your platform grows bigger and you're able to reach mm-hmm. more and more people and, and, and get the word out there. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
So my daughter brought me a Red Bull. Oh, nice. See, that's nice, just good parenting nice. right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll definitely have you back on on the podcast. I enjoy I enjoy our talks. And then I'll wait for your, for my invite to go back on yours. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll definitely, we'll definitely soon, do Mama. this it's again. Real soon. Yeah, we'll definitely do this again. And Hell yeah. I'll, I'll see everyone on the next episode.